Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel. And for those that uh, don't know, there's a browser called Microsoft Edge. That is the new Edge, or the Chromium Edge, if you want, for Windows 10. And, uh, well, it is updated today to a new version. So if you want to know if you have the latest version, simply click your Edge browser. Go into the upper right and to the three horizontal dots help and feedback and about Microsoft Edge, you'll be pushed to version 88 from version 87. It was released today, uh, Thursday, January the 21st, 2021. What does it add uh, as a browser and what are the new features in here? So first of all, you now have a possibility to do sidebar search. What's that? Basically, um, when you go to a web page, so say here I'm going to go to space.com, I'm going to click an article, and in that article, um, I want to know something about what is moon. You can highlight the word, and on the right click, you'll have search in sidebar, and it opens a little sidebar on the right side of your screen where you have details of whatever that search is all about. So this is one of the new features that's in here, which is kind of cool. So sidebar search is now available. Um, one of the things also that is uh, new is silent tabs. So when you go to a new tab, you of course have several tabs open. Chrome has started to try to do this and with some success. So basically what happens is when there are too many tabs open, that of course increases the load on the computer. The more tabs you have open, the more computer is working because all of these tabs ask for a little something off of your computer's processing. With this version, they are introducing silent tabs where tabs are actually shutting down to minimal use of processing power when they are not in use to lower the amount of battery drain, especially for laptops and tablets. So this is one of the things that is kind of cool in here. There's uh, improved syncing of all the different options. So when you, of course, go to your, um, your uh, settings, there's sync capabilities of your computer. So they are actually enabling more options, including history and open tabs. What is that? That means that if you are on one PC, you have several tabs open and you go to another PC with the same browser and you're on the same network or at least connected with the same account, Microsoft account, you will see that your tabs are actually going to be synced and you'll be like using the same PC because everything's going to sync together. Also history is now synced. So if you went to a website yesterday on one PC with Edge and you go to another PC and you're wondering, oh, where did I go yesterday when I was at that website, for example, space.com, you'll be able on another PC using Edge to go into history and see that where you were. So this is going to be kind of cool. Um, other features that are rolling out, of course, uh, is the, a new password generator. So when you go and you start creating a new account, Microsoft Edge will now have the ability to suggest to you a good password that you could use in the website. So it automatically, automatically creates a secure password for you, which is kind of cool also. And I think we all need more security today. So that's... Uh, Really, really nice. And finally, we are at the one year anniversary of Edge. And so if you enjoy the uh, themes or the background of Edge, well, you can now get more themes from the Microsoft Store. Once again, upper right corner, you go into settings, go into appearance, and here you'll have 
get themes from the Microsoft Edge add-on store. You can, of course, also go to other, store with, other stores, which is the Chrome store, and you can add different themes. So, for example, if I go here and I say I want to have, um, let's see here. We want to have, let's uh, check out the left side here. So, these are the themes. Let's go into, uh, yeah, that's okay. Let's, let's just use anyone here that could be of interest. So, uh, here we go. I play Halo. Let's Halo Arrival. You get the theme, you add theme, and you just will have that. As soon as it's applied, you see a change. You see here the colors change in the background and everything. If I actually bring Edge back, you'll see that. Uh, so, this is the uh, theme that I had. Let's go into settings. Let's go into the appearance. And let's uh, currently using Halo Arrival, so it's supposed to be there, uh, technically. So the colors are, are are really there, actually. Oh, yeah, that's it. It's the colors with the, uh, the background image from Bing, which also can be replaced, by the way. You can go here, and you can select a custom picture, if you want, for uh, your custom themes by going here, Manage, and uh, hmm, custom themes. What is this? Okay, custom. Oh, your own image. Sorry, I uh, took the wrong one. Your own image. You go into your pictures. Let's say that I want to have a picture of my uh, cat. I believe there's one here. So I can click on a picture of my cat. And here we go. Now. I have my own custom picture in here. So now, every time I start Edge, I can start with my own cat picture. So these are the things that you can do with the uh, Edge 88, which is Microsoft Edge browser uh, available now today. So if you are on the stable version, simply uh, go to the updates to in the upper right corner and uh, help and feedback and about Microsoft Edge. It's going to update you to the latest version of Microsoft Edge 88. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.